Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures, and this is a comparison video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. What I have here are the latest offerings from Top Oak and Nature Nest. Anytime you start looking at the various Facebook groups and forums and stuff and start talking about budget hard shell rooftop tents, these are the top brands that everyone raves about. Now, I have reviewed the original Top Oak Galaxy 1.0 fantastic tent for what, 1300 bucks awesome tent could not believe all the features and the quality built into that tent that you got for that price now what we have here is the brand new top oak galaxy 2.0 or they also call it the stellar um, basic overall design but one key difference is this one has awnings over the the doors slash windows which if you've seen any of my other wedge rooftop tent videos, you know, that's the biggest gripe about using a wedge is there's no rain covering over the door. Well, Top Oak has fixed that with the, with the Galaxy 2.0 or the Stellar. This is the Nature Nest Polaris Plus. Uh, this, is, this is my first experience with Nature Nest. I've just seen people rave about them online and it, you can see this is a little bit different design. It does have a full awning uh, all the way around, a uh, big awning here in the back or the front, uh, depending on how you're sitting in it, and slightly smaller awning over the windows or the doors. Um, but very similar tents, very similar price point. The top up comes in at, it, it's the most expensive of the two at $14.99. The Nature Nest Polaris Plus, it comes in at $1,238. Um, so both of them incredible values when you're talking about a hard shell wedge rooftop tent. Um, so let's get into the comparison. All right, I've got my cheat sheet here because uh, I just want to run down the similarities between these two tents uh, because there are a lot. Uh, first of all, they both do come with roof bars. Uh, we don't have them installed on these, but they both do come with roof bars. So if you want to mount a kayak up there, throw a bicycle or a mountain bike or something like that up there, uh, it does come with roof bars and the struts are rated to be able to raise with that on there. Uh, they both come with USB powered lights inside, which is fantastic. Um, they both have really solid mattresses. Um, I, I will say that the Top Oak is definitely the better of the two mattresses. The Top Oak surprisingly has the most comfortable mattress that I have ever found that just comes stock in a rooftop tent that's not an inflatable one. Um, so I, when I first got in the Top Oak uh, Galaxy 2.0 and laid down in it, my initial thoughts were, I don't know that I would change this mattress. It is really a solid very comfortable, fairly thick mattress uh, in the Top Oak. Uh, that doesn't mean the Nature Nest is bad. It is a good mattress. I probably would change it, but not as quickly as I would change some of the other ones. It's, it's a good mattress as well. Uh, they are both made of aluminum, uh, aluminum construction all around, and their weights are very comparable. The Top Oak comes in at 176 pounds, and the Nature Nest comes in at 181 pounds. So whopping five pound difference uh, between the two. And that's, uh, that, that's, that's pretty much you know, where, where they overlap. Now, let's get into each one of them and we'll, we'll compare them. All right, let's start here with the Nature Nest. Uh, decent size opening, not as, big as, not as big as some other rooftop tents, but a decent size window here. Uh, you will see that the, the Nature Nest is a traditional wedge shape. Uh, there's, there's no kicker bar that comes out the front to, to give you extra space in here. So, so what you've got is, is a traditional wedge. It feels a little more claustrophobic than, than other tents with, with the kicker bar that takes this and pushes it away from the tent instead of it being angled into the tent. So. I, I feel like I am in a much tighter space up here. Um, and I also am in a much tighter space up here because the dimensions of the Nature Nest are smaller than the Top Oak. The Top Oak is 
four inches wider than the nature nest and you can really feel it inside this tent um, it just feels narrower i would i, I would say this is this is a, a would be a good option for one person uh, it is a smaller width than a full-size bed so two people sleeping up here you're gonna have to you're, one's gonna have to be big spoon and one's gonna have to be little spoon the nature desk comes in at 82.6 inches long 52 inches wide and it is a very thin uh, seven inches tall uh, so it's a very nice thin tent uh, but the quality of materials in here are pretty good uh, the 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 canvas is it's it's good um, it's not it's not great but it's good um, decent windows I do like the the fabric uh, that they put here on the top uh, that is that is definitely the top of the tent there's no uh, there's no padding or, or any insulation or anything between this fabric and the top of the tent that is that is it it's got uh, storage pockets little little iPad pouch here for laying down and you know watching your Netflix or uh, you know watching things while you're laying up here going to sleep uh, side pockets here uh, which are nice and nature nest does something that I think is incredible and I think this is the coolest thing about this tent uh, let me pop back out here real quick they actually give you electrical connections for the tent so there's an anderson port that uh just is pre-mounted to the bottom the wire runs through a grommet there and so if you have an auxiliary battery system or just want to wire it to your your vehicle battery you can connect an anderson plug to that and that anderson plug if i pull this back I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, that Anderson plug goes to this, this junction box here. So there's, there's a power switch for it. There's USB ports and there's one, two 12 volt sockets. So if you want to bring an electric blanket up here, a little 12 volt electric blanket, you've got the outlet for it. You want to run a diesel heater. You've got the outlet for it. Uh, you want to, you know, charge your phone and watch and iPad and stuff. You've got the USB ports for it. So that is built in to the Nature Nest, uh, which is pretty awesome. And it is, there is a, a cutout here in the, in the mattress, but the fabric still covers it up. So a uh, very nice feature on the Nature Nest that I have not seen in any other rooftop tent. And the Nature Nest uh, does have this USB powered lighting strip, uh, which is really nice. You've got, uh, you've got the controls here and you can change it from this white amber combo to just amber, just white, or both. You can you know, dim it, make it brighter, of course, turn it on and off. Uh, if you, you know, don't have the, the, the power outlets hooked up, you can obviously just bring a little you know, battery bank up here. You can put it there in the in the pouch and use that to use that to power your lights. Another thing that I really like about the Nature Nest that I've never seen in a rooftop tent before is this vent here. Um, that's just a nice big vent that you can open to help with any condensation or just you know, allow an extra breeze to come through. You don't have to have this whole window open or even cracked open. Uh, you can just lower this vent or if you want to shut it off, uh, you can. But I love this vent here across the top of it. I think that is excellent. Now, one, one minor gripe that I do have with the Nature Nest is it, it feels like a $1,200 rooftop tent. Um, uh, the zippers just aren't great. Um, the like the quality of, of this piece right here, uh, the stitching on it is is not great. 
Um, I mean, it, it'll work. It's doable. Like I said, it 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 kind of feels like a a, a twelve hundred and thirty eight dollar rooftop tent. Um, well, it, some of this quality feels like that. A lot of it, like like the power, uh, the vents, those sort of things. Those are definitely not something I would expect to find in a uh, a rooftop tent that's under thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, but little things like this, like this, like the stitching here, like the zippers, um, that it doesn't feel, it, it, it feels like, uh, you know, a $1,240 tent. So that, so, you know, there you go. All right. Now let's go into the top oak. Now, uh, because of, of their awning design, the, the door slash windows here on the side are not as, um, not as tall and not as spacious as most wedges. In, in fact, this is the, the, the smallest windows that I have seen on a wedge rooftop tent. Uh, they do have a nice big one here in the back, but uh, these ones out the side, it's just a little more cramped getting in, but not bad. Uh, I, I wasn't like brushing my head or something, but you know, a lot of, a lot of rooftop tents, uh, in the wedge style that, you know, this whole side will be a massive window, but they don't have awnings. So, you know, everything's got its pros and cons. If you want nice, uh, windows like this, then you're going to have a smaller, then you're going to have a smaller, smaller entryway. So, uh, I mean, nothing's perfect. All right. Well, as you can see inside the top oak, I've got a ton of room in here. I, I just think every single wedge style rooftop tent should at the very least have this kicker bar. It just makes a massive difference into the amount of space and how claustrophobic uh, it, it feels. This feels massive inside uh, compared to the nature nest. And, and that alone is the, the biggest thing for me. It's just how much room do I have in here? Um, I mean, it's just a huge amount of room inside this tent. It also is uh, four inches wider uh, at 56 inches wide. And you can feel that in here um, with, the, with the width of the tent. Um, you know, a, a husband and wife with a, um, with, with a small child uh, could sleep in here pretty comfortably. Uh, a couple and a dog. Um, this is a much roomier tent. Now it is more expensive. It's fourteen ninety nine compared to twelve thirty eight. So that's uh, another two hundred and sixty dollars for the top oak uh, compared to the nature nest. But I think you're just you're getting so much more space in here. Uh, the skylight in in the top oak is a really nice feature. Uh, you can roll this, roll this back, have a view of the sky. Uh, you can open this if you want to get out. The, the rain fly piece on the top oak also does come off or, or does fold back. So if you want to remove this and not have this plastic sheeting here, uh, which right now is blocking airflow and you know, you know, it's going to be a beautiful clear night. You're not going to have any rain. Then just, just roll that back and you know let the let the air flow uh, in the tent that's uh, that's really nice it also has it also has these little vents here which i mean they're not much to to write home about but it does give a little ventilation here um if you do have to buckle it all up they're, they're not great i can't really show it to you either <laughs> because of the awning i can't i can't really show you what that looks like uh, from inside quality of materials uh i, I think the fabric is is probably about the same as the nature nest um, it, it it's good it's not great but it's good uh, you can see uh, every seam is uh, weather sealed i don't like the way that looks but it is it is functional um, doesn't look as good but uh, it, it does work the zippers i think are a little better quality in this one um, same you can see there's some there's some stitching issues uh, here uh, as well. I mean, that's just, if you're buying a budget rooftop tent, uh, I mean, it's not going to be the same quality as a $4,000 Intrepid or, uh, you know, $3,000 whatever when you're only paying 
1500 bucks. Uh, but everything is good and everything is, is solid. Um, ample storage in here. So pockets here at each side. Um, on the back, pocket here, pocket there. Uh, like the nature nest, pockets here. Uh, again, a uh, storage pocket here. Uh, this, this is not, uh, this isn't as quite as good a position. Um, it also doesn't have the, the clear mesh for, you know, throwing an iPad in there. But, uh, but ample storage in here. Lighting as well. Um, let's see here. There we go. Let's turn it on. There we go. Uh, just a simple light strip up here, uh, which provides plenty of light in here. And just like the nature nest, you can change it from amber to white, have both amber and white on at the same time. Uh, dim them, brighten them, all the, all the normal things. And the wire uh, does have a little bit better cable management here because uh, you can run it down here and have your little power bank uh, there in the, in, in the pouch. No power in the top oak. That's something that's unique to the nature nest. Um, so, the, so that's a bummer. That I, I think, man, if all rooftop tent companies would, you know, for their wedge style tents, include the kicker bar to open up the space uh, like the top oak does and include that power, um, that, that power box with the Anderson port on the outside, pre-wired and grommeted and all that sort of stuff, I'd be killing. These people need to get together. And, you know, I, I think, I think between all of them, we could piece together enough features to just make the most killer rooftop tent ever invented. Um, but uh, I'm not making rooftop tents, so they didn't ask me. Um, the, the quilting here is, is real nice looking. I, again, this is just uh, probably fabric glued to the top. There's no insulation here. I think Top Oak does make an insulation kit. Um, but this doesn't have it, but, uh, I mean, it's just, it, it looks nice. Um, with the design of the top oak. So I am, I, I'm six foot one. So with this more open design, I have more room to kind of slide my pillow back just a little bit, which means my feet, they, they, they do touch because it's a wedge. Um, but it's not, it's not bad. Like I, I have to be laying with my feet straight up to touch if they're, you know, normal sleeping position. My, I have a lot more room for my feet in this tent than I do in the nature nest. There's a view of that, uh, that vent, as you can see, it, it has a little bit of ventilation, but not much. And there's the buckles uh, for the rain fly to just easily detach that and roll that back. If you just, if it's a beautiful night and you want to have full ventilation and just have everything open, uh, that works great. Both tents do have boot bags. Um, they're, they're, they're adequately sized. Each one could, could hold a boot or, or two. Um, the top oaks will slide because of the, the channels all around the edges. The top oaks you can put, you know, if you want the ladder on the, the driver's side, it can be there. If you want the ladder on the back, it can be there. For some reason, Nature Nest just includes this channel on the back. So if you want to use the boot bags and you're not using this as your entryway, you've got to, you've got to enter here, unzip that window. Um, which is weird and unfortunate. So, uh, which kind of brings me to my next point, the ladders. Uh, just being real, both the ladders suck. Um, because, I mean, this, uh, again, this is something that other rooftop tent manufacturers do. I can't imagine that it really raises the price any to have this feature, but both of these ladders, the ladder rungs are perpendicular to the, the bars. So for them, for it to be a comfortable ladder to actually climb up, especially if you're in like slippers or, you know, God forbid barefoot, um, your, your feet are basically here on, just on this ridge, on this, this angle here. And that's not comfortable at all, uh, at all. I will say the, the attachment mechanism for the top oak 
is is beefier and harder to get off than the ones for the the nature nest this is just really thin a piece of aluminum i can see that failing and bending accidentally pretty quick uh, so that part is definitely better on the top oak another issue with these tents and this is just true because they have uh, awnings on the windows um, both of these tents are going to be a problem if you have an awning on the side of your vehicle like i do as you can see i've got that pole horribly bent to to get up there to that islet um, with an awning well at all the awning would definitely have to sit below the tent on your rack uh, to be able to work so it's doable depending on your rack setup but then that lowers your awning uh, i definitely can't do it uh, with my setup both tents do come with ladder bags so yay for that that's a feature that my super expensive intrepid doesn't even come with but both come with ladder bags so that's a plus that i feel like the ladder bag is a little beefier here in the nature nest um, than it is here with the top oak but they both get the job done now i have one question that i don't know the answer to yet uh, because I have not slept and actually put my bedding in either one of these tents. Um, so I, I don't know if, uh, if, if you can close up your bedding in the tent with either one of these. Um, so I, I brought my pillow because my bedding is, is super thin. So I know if, if the tent will close with my pillow, it'll close with my bedding in there too. Uh, so I brought my, I brought my camp pillow and I'm just gonna take down each tent, put my pillow in them as I close them, and see if they'll latch. All right, my camp pillow. See if that'll go there. It does flop around a lot. But it is closing. So, will the nature nest close with my pillow inside? Yes, but barely. Um, but that does seem nice and sealed. Uh, while I'm up here, one more gripe that I have with the, the nature nest are these, are, are, are these buckles. Because I, I thought maybe mine were installed upside down, but I looked on Nature Nest's website and all the other ones. And this is how they are. But the latch is here at the top. Um, which I can see, you know, especially for me in the Ozarks, driving along, tree branch, you know, kind of dragging across the top, hitting that and undoing it. Um, the, these can be flipped. So if you get the Nature Nest, I would flip these buckles and have them open up from the bottom because I don't like that... So something can be dragging across the top and hit the buckle. Um, but yeah, it, it, it did close. I don't think you could get much more in there. Uh, I, I would, I, I'm not confident that even with my thin quilt and, and sheets and stuff, that it would, that it would close fully. But if you don't have a, you know, a pillow like this, then then I think bedding will stay in here just fine. Or if you have an inflatable pillow. All right, let's try the top oak. Right. 
It's also tight with the pillow. I was hoping that extra inch of height would uh, make more room in here. And I think that was easier to close than the, the nature nest. But the mattress in here is also a little bit thicker. So there, there's that too. But they both, uh, they both closed. Uh, that looks nice and sealed. So can you keep your bedding in both of them? Yeah, I think so. It is a, it is a tighter fit, but, but it works. All right, so final thoughts. Um, I, I love the built-in power feature on the Nature Nest. That is a huge thing, especially if you're gonna be in your, your rooftop tent a lot. Uh, just being able to wire that into an aux battery system is awesome. But uh, if, if I were going to keep one of these to put on my rig and actually use full-time, I'm going with the top oak. Uh, just the design with the kicker bar alone makes this worth the $250 more. And the, the width, the extra four inches of width on it uh, makes a huge difference for just being more comfortable inside and two, sleep, two people sleeping side by side. Uh, for me, the winner of this comparison is the top oak. It is definitely the one that I would pick uh, for myself if, you know, uh, it's it's just an incredible tent and the design makes it so spacious in there um, I, I will never go back to a traditional wedge Again that doesn't have the the, the kicker bar to give you all that extra headroom. So uh, There you go for $250 more The, the, the top oak for sure um, they're, they're both good tents. So But if 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 I'm buying I'm buying the top oak So I, I hope this was helpful um, to, to see them side by side, to, to see them compared, um, you know, I, 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 I hope this was helpful. So if you would like, subscribe, give us that YouTube love. Uh, if you like what we're doing, you like the content that we're putting out, you want to consider supporting the channel. Uh, and when I have stuff like this that, that companies send me, and both companies did send me these, um, I will then post these for sale very cheap to my patrons. Uh, so this is, uh, th this is obviously not on my Gladiator because one of my patrons has it. So, um, so check out the Patreon link in the description. And for all of our merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.